Hello, welcome to Ekideo. We are with Twin Future Civil and Structural Engineer. My name is Justice Umwaka and I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you how to, de how to design a Pi foundation using the software PySoft and also with Pota Structure. Okay, so right now, this software PySoft is used to perform a Pi foundation design, but it is not a standalone software. You have to use it in relative with um, Prota Structure software. Okay, so by the end of this lesson, you will be seeing how I will use this software PySoft to perform a design for a Pi foundation using um, this, so this software also for Prota Structure and all that. Okay, so let's begin now for the design of this building for a pi foundation okay so right now as you can see this is one of the buildings that we have done um the super structure here and which most of you guys have also followed um for how to model the structures and all that okay so right now i'm about to show you the foundation design and we are using a pi foundation because this is an eight story office building and due to the bearing capacity of the soil which i will share with you you will see that it was pi foundation that was what recommended because the soil is not that strong it has um, a loose and weak soil and all that okay so right now before we must begin pi foundation in Prota structure the first thing i will say is that you was have to get the relative software called PySoft. okay so this PySoft right now is basically um is basically to be used in relative or in respect with pi found and uh, within what Prota structure okay so without this PySoft. Um, young engineers or even most most engineers that don't know or don't have any experience on pi foundation it can be quite difficult for them to design pi foundation without the help of what without the help of um this pi soft you cannot design pi foundation using Prota structure software okay so right now before we are going to design for the pi foundation of this structure the first thing we are going to do right now is to make some settings which are necessary also when using this software okay so right now before you must begin your foundation which is pi foundation with using this software portal structure any of the version you must have to come to settings and then from there you come to foundation settings here okay so right now pi foundation is not really that easy to design when it comes to an engineer that, that, that don't have that experience that much so right now on this you have to come to this place that says pi cap knowing that pi foundation has three stages of design the first stage is to design for the pi cap then the second stage is not designed for the pies and then the last stage is not designed for the pi connecting beam so sorry for the pi cap connecting beam so these are the three stages you are meant to pass through before you cannot design for what for your pi foundation although you will still have to make some check-ins which we are going to use this other software called PySoft. we will be using this software called PySoft to now um check again if our if our foundation if our pi foundation design is okay and all that okay so right now i'll now move on back to the software put our structure to now begin um our settings okay so right now on this software right now which is the product here you cannot see what we have currently right now as i said again we will have to come to settings and then begin to set each of these parameters now um for you to now make the right choice of your parameters as you can see it here it's very difficult for younger engineers to do that so you have to go and meet um someone that has experience on pi foundation to now give you the exact data in relative to the bearing capacity or sorry to the to the um soil report of that particular um for that structure okay for that soil for that structure, okay so right now you can now see that to now pick up all these values or to assume these values is um will be quite difficult and if you assume the value um wrongly you can be having issues on, on on your design of foundations because most of the values here are to be gotten from the soil report okay why most of these values you 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 have to provide it based on your experience as the structural engineer okay so right now 
to, 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 to not get these values right, you will not have to use the PySoft. So PySoft right now is basically, um, let me just open it up right now. So PySoft right now is basically um, a software that will now suggest for you the right parameters that you are meant to use for your Pi Foundation, beginning from Pi Cap and all that okay so and also it will also have to make some check-ins and all that to see if your pi foundation is okay because even if your design is okay but if you don't meet some certain principle that that is meant to be governed when you're done for your pi foundation it might not fail during your design but during the construction you'll be having your pie being cracked on, on um um inside the ground and which will lead to collapse so when you when you're doing for pi foundation you will have to adhere to some certain principles following the design procedures okay so right now the pi soft right now will not give you a design data sheet which you're going to impute into the puta structure and once you input that values based on the load you get from the what puta structure and you input it into this pi software you will see that all your values will just appear perfectly as you can see this is what it will like give you what they call designed output data so you will not go and impute these data right now into the software product structure and then you will see your pi appearing perfectly as you can see that this is now um the design pi based on the load that is here and all that and all the parameters that that, that you're seeing here so right now let's not begin for the design of this building okay for the pi foundation here okay so right now to now begin to impute my values here okay the first thing you are seeing here right now is to do what is to select what is to choose your what pi shaft okay is to do what your shaft type okay so right now i will have to now go to what go to the pi soft software because that is where i'm going to get my parameters okay so right now i'll just try to um, make um, this window to be what a twin window so let me just do that right now by coming here right now okay come here and then bring this right now now you can see that from this pi soft right now is saying what that that pi um, shaft type right now if you click here you can see that the shaft type here it's either circular or square okay now it is basically what is common is what square is what circular um, um shaft for pi okay square pies are not that common okay so what is common is what circular pi so our advice you choose what circular pi now when it comes to this place now called penetration you can see that this pi soft is giving you a suggestion saying that note the height of penetration for pi in for of, of of what pi cap of, of of what pi into the pi cap can either be 75 or 100 okay so right now let me just take 100 as my what now that we are now, now, now that i know that the 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 values to choose is either 75 or 100 for the penetration so let me just say i'm using 100 for the pi penetration into the pi cap okay which is showing here right now you can see that right now this pi right now is trying to what penetrate into this pi cap here by what 100 millimeter okay that's fine so right now again i will now go again right now by saying what pi diameter okay so right now the pi diameter if you now go over your mouse here you can see what it says that the note the pi diameter of 300 350 millimeter 450 and 600 are commonly used for buildings okay so when you're doing your pi foundation for buildings you have to either use 300 350 450 or 600 that's what the software is saying so you have to um assume your pi diameter but you can see that there is a but there but you can get your pi diameter from the geotechnical report okay so right now i'll have to now open a a like a sample of a report which i have which i have for this building right so right now i'll just uh, minimize this right now and then go to my desktop right now let me just go to my desktop here okay and go to my desktop here i have a sample of my soil report here which i have okay so right now i have this here yeah correct this right so if i open this right now a pdf of my soil report based on this structure that you're seeing here this structure right now we have a soil test um, for that this structure here let me just close this down down okay yeah this yeah so right now let me now open the um the soil 
report which is already opened here correct it's coming up i'll just close this right now okay that's fine so right now you can see that this is the sub soil investigation for pi foundation basically for that structure i have removed um the area for the client we are showing the client's name and all that because i don't want to include the client's name because i'm making a video and all that but you can see the location as you can see it here and all that and you can see the, the location for the site you can see the location here and all that so right now how when you get your pi so sorry your soil bearing capacity based on pi foundation is quite different from the um from the soil test for a pad foundation or for a rough foundation when it comes to um pi foundation the the um the the soil engineers tends to go deeper until they find a suitable soil strata so you 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 have to make sure you go through the the um the soil report carefully when it comes to pi foundation okay so right now i'll have to um go down i'll have to go down right now to the place where i would like you to use very well so right now once you are looking at for your pi foundation report the first thing you should look at for is the place where they got the actual depth which is suitable so right now you can see that among all the depth that they have um um, checked for for the test you can see that the, these two depths here which is 27 and 30 meters is the place where they actually got a suitable soil strata now if i now walk you through right now again to the place to a soil profile here now hold on pipe design looks very boring because i'll have to explain a lot here so right now you cannot see that these are the soil layers okay you can see the first soil layer is showing what is showing as a soft light brown sandy clay which on this place you, you 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 cannot rest your foundation on this place because it is not safe as you can see that it is a soft light brown sandy clay and all that and know, know that we are designing for what for an eight story building as you can see right now so we cannot rest our foundation on that place okay then the next three to ten meters is a pit soil and the pit soil does not usually carry weight okay cannot carry the weight of a structure so except maybe a bungalow and all that so we cannot rest our foundation here also because it is not a good soil and also at 12 to 18 meters it is still a soft to fine dark um gray um, um soil so we cannot also terminate our pie here and all rest our foundation here now at 21 to 23.25 meters it is a firm dark brown sandy clay so it is still under a clay um, soil classification so we, we cannot also rest our foundation here but when it now comes from 24 to 28 as you can see that 27 to 20 to, to 28.5 meters you can see that we have a loose to medium dense sand brown fine to medium green sand so in this place right now this at 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 this stage we can choose to rest our foundation here although it is not that strong but it is um it is already called a medium what dense sand so at this place right now it's a good soil but for me in my own advice i would advise instead of resting my pie foundation at the at the stage of what 27 meters uh, or 28.5 i can quickly go to 29 i can see right now that 29 or 30 is what a medium dense um, um brown sand and coarse green sand okay so this is now a good soil to uh, like th this is a good soil strata i can rest my pie foundation so you can see that when it comes to pie foundation as you can see from the advice that was given from the pie soft here pie soft said that when it comes to pie foundation you can see that when you are choosing your your what your your pie length you can see what they said that they said you are to get your pie length from your geotechnical what reports so th this is what i am showing you right now on how to get our pie length okay so right now you cannot see that from this place right now you can see that our pie length can either be 29 meters or can be 30 meters and all that okay so you can see that this is the only depth on the soil that the, that we got a suitable soil strata to be able to carry this structure okay 
based on the soil report okay so right now i will have to now go back to my soil test here and choose the depth of my pie or the or, or, or my pie length based on this soil report here so right now i can quickly choose either 27 28 29 or 30 meters and all that okay but i will not want to choose here i would like to choose from 29 meters or 30 meters so right now at 29 meters or 30 meters i can choose that okay so right now i will choose 29 meters okay because it is found on a medium dense brand medium tokoas green sand okay so right now i will now have to go back to my PySoft software here pi software software and then come here and choose what put in what my length of pi as 29 meters because that's what i got 29 meters okay that's fine so right now we have already imputed this value here which is the penetration and we have imputed what the pi length here and we will now come and impute what the um pi diameter here okay now the pi diameter right now you can see what it says here that the pi diameter of 300 350 450 and 600 are commonly used for buildings but you can get your pi diameter from your what to technical what report so when it comes to pi foundation you must work hand in hand with the soil report okay so right now that takes us back again right now to the soil report here right now now under the soil report right now i'll have to move into um page 14 that's where it, it is found phase 14 now you can see that on page 14 based on the summary you can see that the first summary table here was done at what the depth of 27 meters which we are not using so i'm using the depth of what 29 meters or 30 meters so, so right now you can see that the summary right now for this one right now is what summary of anticipated safe working load for of what different pies at 30 meters okay now you can see that the pie diameter they, they are suggesting for us to use at 30 meter depth of pi is what 600 diameter there is a reason for this the reason is because the more deeper your pi foundation is the like once you are getting deeper like after 18 meters it is advisable for you to use a bigger size of so a bigger diameter of what pies don't use a tiny pi diameter at a length more than 18 meters okay so from 18 meters and above it is it is available to use a a pi diameter from let's say 500 and above okay so right now you can now see that at 30 meters it is saying that we should from this from the soil report they are suggesting that we use what a pi depth of so a pi diameter of what 600 okay so you can see that the pi diameter that is suggested here is what 600 okay and know that we our pi depth that we chose from the soil report is what 29 okay 29 meters or 30 meters so right now we out choose what 600 diameter as my pi diameter okay so right now i'll now go back to my pi soft here right now pi soft here and then come here right now and then choose what here my pi diameter the word 600 here okay so right now i have not imputed these values right now from the soil report okay so you can now see that the penetration basically this one was based on what you have to pick the values here either 75 or 100 but the pi diameter and the pi um length are gotten from the geotechnical what report okay then we'll now go again right now for the um for the what for the column load okay now column load right now will be gotten from the product structure okay so right now i'll have to go here right now before i go there i'll have to first of all come here by settings here function settings and make sure i have applied these settings which i put on the pi soft here these two settings here which is the penetration the shaft the um the um the pi diameter and the pi length okay so right now i'll have to come back to potential here and then make sure i input those my values right now pi cap here now from the pi um soft you see that we are using what a circular um shaft and then come here right now our penetration is what which is given to what at what as um 100 here so i'll go back to that place right now and input what 100 here 100 here okay that's fine 100 and then for the pi size right now we took what to be what 600 okay so right now i can just leave this first as it is now because there is still there will be a room during our design where you can put in your 
pi depth okay so right now i'll just put in what penetrate or oh, okay, okay i can still leave here as well 75 because there will still be room for you to choose that so i'll just do only the settings here by putting what the pi length here alone because there will still be room for us to put other all these parameters later okay so i'll just put in this just this pi length here alone and then say what okay here okay that's fine so right now we have now transmitted the value of this pi length from the from, from this pi soft software here as you can see that we have sent this length to what the to the software here portal structure so right now we will now begin for our pi for our pi cap design first so right now i will now come to plan view here so when you're doing for a pi foundation you have to come to plan view where you have to see all your columns okay only the columns so right now we will now begin what our pi design okay and we will begin with the pi cap design first okay so right now i'll click on each inform for any of the column right now right click and then you see this place that says was insert pi cap okay now it will now show you this dialog box right now let me just minimize this and open the software again yes okay well, right now now you can see that based on the column load you can see that this software Potential structure is given not to be what to have what number of pi to be eight, which I will say that this software potential structure is a very good software when it comes to design of structures, but for pi foundation it's very very technical. If you don't apply your advanced knowledge as a structural engineer, you might have issues when it comes to design of your pi because it will perform what they call over design of pi foundation um, of pi cap and to give you so many number of pies knowing that softwares basically are meant um, to design against structural failure so because of that they perform a little bit of a design and that is why they give you the chance to what they call interactive design for it not interact with, with the software after it is done designing okay but if most of you don't know what you're doing you might end up saying that the software is performing over design not knowing that you are the one that have what limited knowledge because you don't know what you're doing okay you you are only depending on the software but as a good structural engineer you are not meant to depend on the software you are meant to check the software yes it is good to use the software because it helps us to make our work easier but you are meant to check the software if the software is wrong or not or if the software is is, is what is what performing over design that's why most software gives the room to what they call interactive design that's for you as an engineer to not interact with the with the word software okay so right now i will now have to now come to this place here now to now get if not check from our pi soft here our pi soft right now is now we, we have done with these values so about now we are now gone we are, we are now entering into what pi capacity and we are to input what our column load okay so right now we will now have to go back to the software here put that here and then pick up our column load here okay now i can see that what is given us here what is software giving us here is what number of pi to be eight which i believe is not correct because i have used this software over and over again and i know that it gives much number of pies which is not correct okay so right now that's why i like to use pi soft with pi with um with this software to design my pi foundation okay so right now you you you, you cannot see that from the column load here which is this particular column here this column here that we are doing here right now the column load on that on on that column is what 1029.3 okay so this is the column load that we are going to we are, we are going to design for so right now i'll quickly take this value right now and send to pi soft okay to now give me the actual um, number of pies to use because this software right now is giving me what over design of pi numbers okay so I'll transfer this this load right now 1029.3 as a column load into the pi soft so right now now come here right now pi soft here i'm putting the value there 1029.3 okay so once i put in this value right now okay i'm uh, putting this value right now you can see right now we are now given that is is what two uh, number of pies are to be two okay but right now let's not first and 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 take that first until we are done inputting all our values so right now once you have done that right now once you have inputted your what your um column load the next thing right now you have to come here to choose what your pie cap direction okay now from experience i would say that the first thing you have to design for is to design what for what pie cap direction for direction one which is basically for what 
horizontal direction okay so you have to choose direction two if you see that there is no space or if your pie cap are clashing together then you can now go and choose direction two to change the pie cap direction okay so right now i'll choose direction one first okay then on this place right now the column type okay the column type do so i'll have to now go back to the what software here to now to now and check my column type how is my column you can see that my column right now is what rectangular okay so right now i'll have to come back to pysoft right now pysoft here and choose what on this place here i'll come here and choose column type and choose rectangular here okay that, that's fine now on this place now that says concrete type i always advise you choose what normal weight okay because normal weight concrete is what we use for what for a reinforced concrete design this lightweight here are used for cladding for example if you're um, trying to um put a fancy on the walls of your building okay you can use lightweight fancies like um cladding okay cladding okay you can use this but for reinforced concrete design we use normal weight concrete okay so right now you can now see the next one right now saying what spacing from the pi soft here okay so spacing um spacing multiplying factor between pies okay if you check right now your mouse you cannot see what is so what is what is what they're saying that the multiplying factor can either be what be 2.5 or 3. please check your geotechnical ge report for the actual uh, factor that to be used okay so right now i'll have to now go back to my soil report again to check if the soil report carries that value okay so if i now scroll down right now you cannot see that care that this place right now says that okay they say that care consideration should be should be given to the spacing for pi of, of pies we are group pies or core okay now a spacing of 2.5 to 3 times the diameter of pies is usually ad, um, adopted okay so right now we you cannot see that this um soil report right now is giving us to choose either 2.5 or 3 okay so right now i'll just minimize now and then come here right now and type in my value i want to use 3 3 3 as what as the multiplying factor which is 3.0 okay that's fine so right now i'll now go again right now and then you also see the next one here that says what that says is pie cap resting directly on the soil okay now there is a rule for this if your if the if your structure eh, sorry if the area or if the land which you are building this structure has high level of water logging okay and the water um and the water there is saline okay it will be advisable for you to raise your pie cap off the floor at least above the water level okay but if the um, if the water is not saline, it's just a normal soil and it's not that water logging, which is the area, which is the site, okay? So you can then um, allow your pie, your pie cap to rest directly on the ground, which is normally um, used, okay? So right now, I will say yes. I'll just come here and then click on what yes, that my pie cap is resting on the, what, on the soil. And this also have, has impact on the on the pie distance on, on on the distance between the pie face and the pie cap face okay so right now you cannot see that when we when when we choose no that the pie cap is what elevated on the from the soil is not resting on the soil you can see that it is giving us that that we should use distance to face which is the which is what which is this distance here from the from the edge of the pie here to the pie cap to be what 300 that's what it's saying now but if you can see that it's saying when the pie cap is resting directly on the soil, use any of the values with or you can see that that you should use any of the value with or. So right now, if it's resting on the on the values right on, on the soil right now, you can see that it has three options for you to use. Either you use 150, 200, or 250 can be accepted. Okay, can be used for the distance between the this pie here, this pie, and the edge of the pie cap. Okay. Which is the distance between this pie edge and the pie cap okay can be used as what 150 200 or 200 if only the pie cap is resting on the ground which is which you see most often but when the pie cap is elevated you can see that it has only one value for it to use which is what 300 based on the diameter here if we change the diameter right now so let me say 450 you will see that it will change the value okay you can see that so right now let's now use what 
um, what we have 600 as our pi diameter from our soil test and all that. So right now we have to let us see that, this, the, that the pi cap is resting on the soil which is um, commonly used. Okay, that's fine. So right now, this place now th that says measure the space in between pies. This one is very, very important because this software here, which is called Puta Structure here, will not show you that failure when when if it is failing. Okay, it won't show you the failure. But the failure will occur during the during the construction. So this one here that the that the pi soft here that's why I like it well that's why I, I, I love to use pi soft for my for my for my what design of pi foundation is because because when because most at times you might not be seeing failure on your design when you're using what the software put as a job, but it is during the construction when 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 there's a failure here then you will see that the, the, the pies will crack into the ground. For example, if my spacing now between pies, uh, let, let me assume that it is what? Let me say 1000. Okay, let me just see if there will be failure. Okay, you can see that it's saying that pi spacing failed. Okay, and what, what will happen? You can see that it's saying that pi uh, spacing between pies it, is too close. Okay, pi pies will crack inside the ground during construction okay now this kind of filler um, error now you will not see it appear and anywhere when you're using this software for your design of what of pi foundation okay but when you're using pi soft pi soft will show you that and, and i'll show you when to apply this distance okay once we are done designing all our pi cap then we will now come and be checking for this failure here it's very very important to check for this failure which most people do, don't check and you see that your design will appear correctly su successful but during the construction you will see this happening and you, you cannot only see that failure happening during the construction and that will be inside the ground and which since you cannot see it happening you will see that after your design or sorry after your construction of your structure you see that the that that structure might might do what fail or might collapse because the pies have cracked and which you which you didn't see during your design using the software put that structure okay so that's why i, I like to use this pie sort okay so right now i'll just assume 800 first one 800 first because i'll show you how to do this how to um, impede this value once we are done with our with all our pie cap designs okay then we will be able to do what measure the spacings and then confirm that everything is okay okay so pi foundation is not what you have to rush okay you have to take your time and do that okay so right now from our pi soft again right now from the pi soft again right now you cannot see that let me just okay down now you can see that the cover of what the the concrete cover i will have to put towards 75 because i am dealing with what soy when you're dealing with soil, you, you have to use 50, 75, or 100 as your concrete cover, okay? So I want to use what 75 as my concrete cover, okay, right now. So I will now move on to what? The material selection here. I will now choose what? Concrete grade. Since I'm dealing with soil, I will choose what? 25 as my concrete grade for, for the pipe foundation. And then steel grade, which is the what? Uh, which is the what? Rebar grade. I have to come and choose what? Either 410 or 460 let me just choose 410 or 460 let me, okay, let me choose 460 for my uh for my for my steel bars grid and then the diameter of what for the pies i can choose 16 or 20 let me choose 20 for my for my diameter of pies and then for the lengths right now i'll choose the same thing 460 and then for the link diameter i can choose diameter 8 or diameter 10 but i would advise to choose 10 for pi foundation so right now once you are done imputing all your values okay and you're putting your column loads that came from the from this software here okay you're putting the column load here that came from the software as you can see we have putting the column load here sorry um for to do our pi soft here now once you're putting the column load there for the pi soft here the next thing right now sorry the column load here you now have to do and you put all your values and picked everything then you now have to do what click on the pi soft that says design the, the, what data sheet here okay now this piece of right now gives you a data sheet okay the, the parameters you are meant to impute into this software here put that structure here okay it gives you the actual parameters to impute based on your column loads and based on the soil report okay which you have already, which you have seen that we, that we have also applied for 
then it now gives you the parameters, the actual parameters to to what impute. Okay, and you can also see your joints also. Your, you can also see your detail joint also appears for you and all that. Then you can now go ahead right now and do what? Click on what? Click on what? Print. Okay, print sheet. Okay. Now I will have to do what? Print it out and it will convert it to what PDF. Okay. So right now I will have to choose a place on my desktop right now, create a folder and call it. And uh, let me just call it based on this structure. This is a eight. I'll just call it eight story building design story building building foundation design and let me put let me put pi here pi yeah foundation design and i'll come here right now and then um just click here first and then click open the folder right now and type in the value right now what is this pi now for me to name this this pi right now this 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 um, pi cap which i've which i've done for i'll have to navigate back to my product structure here and pick up the the column name for that okay pick up this 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 column name which which i'm doing for which is here as you can see right now pick up this column name here copy it out and then go back to my pi soft software here software here and then paste it here and paste okay and then generate that and then click on what save okay so if i now go now to that folder where i save that i save that in a folder inside the um, desktop and inside a folder called a story within here you can see that um you cannot see the pi you cannot see the report here if i open this report now you cannot see that we have not generated what a data sheet that we are going to use for our design in what that structure so you don't have to um, think of any other values again you just use these values because we have we have already um do don't what generated our what our our what uh, our values to be used for design of pi foundation so right now i'll just um do this right now um keep this here and then open up my software processor here which is here okay now on this place now you cannot see that the first thing we're going to do do do, do right now that, that we have here on this our data sheet here is to do what that data sheet here which i've done right now is to do what um use number of pies can see right now you say use number of pies and um, use two number of pies okay so right now two 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 number of pies we are going to use so i'll just come here right now click here and then choose what two as my pie number I can see that okay now as you can see that right now it is still failing because we have not done um putting all our values once we input all our values that came from pysoft you can see that all these fillers will be will be, will be, will be, will be do what they will just go off okay so right now again i'll now go again right now and then open again my pysoft here the next thing i have right now is to, is to do what is to do what um use 1400 millimeter or 15 or 16 for pi cap depth okay for pi cap depth so i'll come again right now they say i should use one four one five or one six so i'll first of all try one four if there's a failure i'll use one one five and if there's a failure the maximum you can use is what one six based on the load that is coming from the column okay which i've already inputted before so i'll come in right now and then put in try try what try to put in what 1400 sorry go to my processor here and then put in the value here which is the pi which is the depth of pi here 1400 here okay that's fine then the the next thing now is to let me get to again right now from my data sheet here the next thing now to do what is to um impute what use pi size as what 600 okay so I'll come here right now let me just minimize this okay so you can ask that it is said that we should use what we should use our um pi diameter what to be what 600 here so i'll come here right now and impute pi diameter here to be what 600 here okay 600 600 that's fine and then the next thing now again is to do what let's see again it did, did not say we should use what um use penetration to be what 100 okay so i'll come here right now penetration here to be what 100 here okay that's fine then the the, the next thing again right now to impute or to use to do what they say use pi shaft as what circular okay that's fine so i'll come here right now and choose circular okay circular here and again right now go again pi soft here 
from the price of the day say we should use um use multi uh, spacing multiplying factor as what well, three okay so i'll come now here split my time factor right now between pies is what three so i'll come here and then put what three and what um three okay that's fine and i'm going again right now to pie soft again pie soft and i said I, sh I should do what i should use what i should use 150 millimeter or, or um 200 or 250 for for what distance to face okay so i can use 150 or 200 or 250 for distance to face value okay so right now go again right now to this place you can see that it said distance to face short and this i have to put here what 250 which i have gotten there so i can use 150 200 or 250 so but let me just use right now 250 from what i got here okay you can see that we got three values here choose use 150 or 200 or 250 so right now i want to use 250 for that which is the maximum there so I'll come, and, I'll come and then use what 250 again 250 here okay and then what next again right now on my pie sort so so it's now you can see that we are we are getting all our values from what from the pie sort so the values to input right now is coming from the what from the pie sort okay so right now from the pie sort right now you can now see that we have what we have and they say um, use ultimate compression capacity as what six eight six point five okay six eight six point five okay so right now ultimate compression capacity which is here which is here i have to put it what down six eight six point what five okay and then i'll now go again right now to pi soft they say what they say use ultimate tension capacity as what two two eight point five okay two two eight point five which is this value here which is this tension here which is one here so i'll come now and put what 228.5 228.5 okay that's fine okay then i'm now going right now what next again right now do we do we have from our pie soft that, um sheet we have our value again to be do what we have um okay they say now pie cap is designed in horizontal direction okay that is in direction one so let me show you where you can get that from this software here come to your options here and then you will see options here options here this place that says direction here you can choose pick to choose what direction two or direction one you can see that you can see what's happening here if i choose two right now it's changing to what vertical but from the data sheet here they said it is it is to what that the pi that it is designed what in direction what one okay so I'll come now and and also in what horizontal horizontal what direction so I'll come now and choose what direction one as it is that's fine okay so again right now what what is we have again we now have just two values left they said I should use internal bending radius for what for x 140 and what or one nine zero okay 190 okay for x okay so we have minimum for x 190 and all that now let me tell you where this is very very useful which most of you might have issues if you if you're not using pi soft for your design of pi foundation you might have issues also for your design because most at times here you can see that from this place right now we have done between all our values as you can see right now we are only left with these two values here which is the last two values here these two last values here which is the internal bending radius here for x and for y direction which is the last value on our on our from our pi software to impute now before i impute that right now let me assume that we have impeded all our values here and you can see that our design is still failing and this failing you can see that on, only one is failing here and this failure right now is coming from what is coming from from what from the base reinforcement so right now I'll just go to the bars here and let me see what's happening there know that we chose y20 from our pi soft so right now i'll come here and then choose what y20 because it is failing on this side y20 and i want to make it to be what typical which is the top which is the x and y direction to what one uh, y22 and then i can choose to increase the spacing here let me try to okay to choose what let me choose 200 200 is okay then 220 20 is not a good spacing so i'll choose 200 and also 200 also 200 and all that okay so right now you cannot see that from this place now and i can see that everything now looks what successful as you can see that right now everything looks what now successful as you can see that there is no failure on this right now now you can see that everything now looks successful as you can see that but there is still a failure 
even if you are seeing here that Shane was successful, there is still failure. Don't just don't just go and say what okay because you're seeing successful here and you're seeing that everything here is green. Okay, that's where PySoft comes into play. Okay, because from PySoft right now you can see that from from PySoft you still have two values left which you have not what imputed, and if you don't impute these two values into your um, Py design here using this soft interpreter here, you will have issues on your failure. Okay, now let let, let, let me now show you now. If you now go to what the, the design what checks here, you can see that we have failure here. So even if everything here was showing what everything here, let me just go back. Everything here was showing what okay. Can you see that? But if you can check for your design checks here in this soft interpreter here, you can see that it is showing what failure. So if we now go back, that's because we have not imputed the two values that came from what? From this Pi software, okay? These two last values have not yet been imputed, okay? So once we impute these two values right now into the, this software here, you will see that it will show what? Okay, okay? It will now be green, okay? So right now, come back to your rebars here, rebars tab here, and then you will see this place that says internal bending radius, okay? Now, from our Pi software, from our Pi software, you can see that internal bending radius now, as you can see right now, they, they, they say we should use for X direction 140 minimum, and if there is a failure, we should use maximum to be 190, okay? Why for Y direction, we should use what? 140 or 140. That is the value for Y direction. So right now, I will now come here for X, which is the X. This first one here is X, which is the X here. They, they say we should first of all try 140, as you can see it here. 140 for X. And if it fails, we should try what 190. But for y direction, we say we should try 190, 190. So sorry, 140, 140. So right now we'll go here right now and then try what here for, for y direction, which is y direction here, 140. And then let's go and check now for again. And our cover right now is said what 75. As you can see from the pie sort right now, so cover is what um 75 from our from our I think for this from our pie sort that we checked. Let me just do it again. Let me just go back, go um, back, back to our input data sheet. Okay, sorry. Yeah, you, you cannot see that from our from our cover here. They say we should cover for seventy five because that's five seventy five. So right now, I'll now come back right now and then input um, seventy five, which is already yeah seventy five. Okay, yeah, that's five seventy five, seventy five, and seventy five here. Okay, that's fine. So right now, you can now see that if I go again and can check my what checks here, you can see that it is now okay, okay? So you can now see that that error that was showing here was was because we have not imputed the two last values that came from what? From the from this PySoft, okay? So you can now see how this PySoft is very, very useful. It helps you to give you your design parameters that you are meant to impute into the what? Into the software Potter structure when you're doing for your pie cap design or for your pie foundation design, okay? That's fine. So right now you cannot see that until you have done the design checks here and you have seen that everything here is green and also everything here should be green. That's when you can accept the, your, your design, okay? That's because we have imputed our last value. Now, had it been at 140, it was still failing, we would have come now to the pi soft here again and go and choose the maximum value for what our bending radius for x direction as well 190 i would have come here right now and then impute what 190 of which it will be okay but right now since 140 was okay for it since we have checked our design checks here check design here and it's okay so there's no need for to go and impute what 190 as our benefit, okay. So right now, you you can you cannot see how we have now worked with this um, software here, PySoft, and we got all our values without we thinking the value that we are going to impute. So that's how PySoft helps. PySoft works hand in hand with the software Pota Structure. It was basically designed for the people using what the software Pota Structure because this this software Pota Structure does over design when it comes to pi foundation design okay so you can now see that from eight number of pies that it was shown before it has now given us two number of pies that was given to us based on the pi soft that we used here before you can see that the pi soft there showed us what to be what to be two pies okay so right now you now do the next thing i will now do right now is now create also create a report also from the software here and create a report because we are we are going to merge the two reports 
from this software and also from the pi soft okay so we'll just go right now and then save what save it again as what pdf here and save it inside the place where we created the folder for the pi soft okay so just go right now and then go to the place right now inside this place here go to the place to save it desktop here okay and then go to the place that say a story building here foundation yes here and then come here right now and put it like this and say this right now i, I can first of all come here and put here change this first change this one inside here to this one that was gotten from pysoft to what pi and pc one in column 11 um for pysoft from pysoft okay just say pysoft and then i will now come again here okay the file is still open let me just can close it right now it's open so i close it now before i can make some changes there close it first and then come here and say what well, try again now for you to change the name okay that's fine then once i've done this right now i'll now come here and generate this from this software here okay generate this right now wait first okay and then locate the folder that same folder which i saved before locate the folder right now into this place and then save it again save it now now instead of the pi soft report i'll now come again right now and now go and put what the report to change to what Porter structure Porter structure or, or, okay just say Porter. yeah Porter. okay and then say save okay so right now, if i save it now if i now go and navigate to my um to that place let me just close this right now to that place right now to the folder you can sorry i would have closed that instead of um um just minimizing it close this right now sorry yeah close this right now close this here and then be before i say okay i'll just come here right now and then come here open the folder again you can see that we now have two 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 reports for our pi foundation the one that came with what that the the one that we got from pi soft as you can see it right now this is the one that came from pi soft as you can see that this is the data sheet right now from pi soft and also for the drawing too you can see the drawing showing your two, two number of pies and the one that came from what portal structure okay so you are meant to combine these two uh, reports together and then print out for your client okay so this is now this two now becomes your design report for this pie cap for just this column that we have done okay for just this column okay now i will now come and say what okay here and then you will follow this column right now you, you will now see that it now show the pie cap here fully designed here so we have now designed so this that these two reports now that we have just done is just for this one here okay not for all just for this one that's why we have to save it based on the column name so right now you can now see that this is showing what pc um which is pie cap um, design for column 11 okay now if you now go to our our what our 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 this one here our our report here you can see what pc 111 also the same thing that we, that, that we are seeing here as you can see that we are seeing here you can also see the pc1 report so we now have two reports from pysoft as you can see from pysoft here as you can see from the report here from the pysoft from pysoft and also from um what portal structure so we will now have to combine these two reports now we combine these two reports and then produce the report for that column okay that's we have done by design for that column so you must use the pike the 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 pysoft and also the pike up together okay so pysoft was basically created for or develop for the users using what Total structure alone okay so right now if now go and take on tdv right now you, you cannot see our pie right now our pie design perfectly as you can see right now so i will now go again and then do for other columns okay and design for other ones now i have explained how to use the pie cap sorry the the like, like this pie soft software in when you are also using for what for uh when you're using it with the software portal structure okay so right now once you're done with your first design for your first pie cap on a structure the next thing right now you'll be doing is to the job do what taking the column load and then the do what putting the column load that, that's all so right now to, to now design for this other pie right now since it is still the same structure i'll just right, um, click here and say what insert pie cap you see that it will this part will, will give us what what over design okay that's what it does so right now i'll just 
um, leave this and then come here and choose come up to your take here that says column load here and choose my column load here right now click on this place right now you can see that it's showing what 1688.13 so i'll come to my pysoft right now pysoft here my pysoft here i'm putting on my column load so once you're done with your first design don't touch anything here again just go and be putting in your column load alone so i'll put in now 1688 point something i think i forgot let me just click again 1688 point um, point um okay, point one yes 1688.1 so i'll come again right now and put it under my pipe my pie soft now point one and i'll come again right now just click on a anywhere and then go down right now you can see, go, down, go down right now and then do what create data sheet okay then data sheet and you will see my parameters right now be given to me and you can see my pie soft right now is giving me what three number of pies so three number of pies is the actual number of pies that that column that that, that, that column load is meant to carry okay so three number of pies is meant to withstand that column load okay so before i go but let now go again and they come back here okay back first and confirm the column type okay on on, on that place so i'll go again right now find the column type here which is uh let me see rectangle okay that okay yeah that's fine so i'll come again right now i think that's what, what i choose before rectangular so from price of tier is shown what has to be what rectangle okay that, that's fine so right now now come and do what since i'm putting my column load here 1688.1 which we also got from this software here 1688.1 so i'll just come now right now um go back to my pie soft now and generate my what data sheet for that one so i'll come right now click on this right now data sheet here and then i'll have to now you can see that right now i'll have to now come here and then print it out to now use it for my design for that column okay i'll now come here print out okay print sheets and then i'll have to save it again make sure you save it using the name okay so just go back to your product structure right now and pick up the name from here the name which is pc 118 so copy it right now copy it copy it and then go back to your pysoft pysoft right now software and then put in the value here come here and paste it and make sure you put splash that, that this report is coming from what is coming from what pysoft okay so make, make, make sure you put pysoft there pysoft okay that's fine and then click on what save you okay and then click on what save okay it will not save it now okay so right now it has now saved let's now go and check it out where it saved that that value that 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 um files you can now see that a new folder right now has a new file right now a, a new report is now being created right now called this you can see that right now which is called well, pc for column 18 which we are also on this place here pc column 18 so right now let's now and open it right now and be inputting our values based on uh, based on the pi soft sheet okay Based on the PySoft report sheet, so right now I'm not going to open it right now. So now going to be now open this right now, and then be inputting my values right now based on the what I got from here. So right now from this place right now, you can see that it said what no use three number of pies, okay? Why the software this other software is giving me what eight number of pies? So that that's why sorry um fifteen number of pies. That's why I say without PySoft you you cannot be able to design basically um the um, pi design for um using this software put that such okay so you must use pi soft to get your actual um values okay to be used yes you perform what they call over design okay so right now come here right now then click on what um choose what three number of pi because that, that that's what i got from um from this place here okay from this pi soft here from this pi soft here okay three number of pies yes that right and then now we now say that the next thing I to do what is say use 1400 or 15 or 16 for your pi cap depth okay so always try the minimum first so i'll try one for first my my pi cap depth so i'll come here right now and through what try 1400 okay and then click anywhere now now i'm going to confirm what the pi shaft is and the pi and the penetration and depth is and also the pi size is okay so you can see now again now that, that they say use pi size to be what 600 and penetration to be what 100 okay and shaft to be what circular so right now i'll go back right now and impute my uh, my, my shaft circular penetration to be what 100 
and pi, pi, pi size, which is the pi diameter to be what? 600, which, which, which we have from our pi soft, as you can see from the pi soft um, here. They say pi, the pi, pi size is what? 600. So right now, I am now on this page that says use PC multiplying factor as what? 3. So right now, now minimize again and then go to my quota structure here and then putting the value to be what? Um, here to be what? 3 and here to be what? 3. Okay. And then now distance to face. I will now go and confirm again what's the value from the from the pi soft that was gotten. It say um, use 150 or 200 or 250 for what distance to face. Okay, so you can use any of these value right now. So let me say I want to use what then 250, which is the maximum that this soft that this pi soft gave me, which is the maximum. Although I can use 150 or 200. Okay, so let me use what 250. Okay, so right now go right now then put in here, put in here 250 and put in here um 250 okay that's fine and then i will now come again right now i will now i, I, I am now on the area of what ultimate compression and ultimate tension okay so i'll go again right now for the pi soft again what's the next thing to do for the pi soft now once you have inputted your and uh, your your what do your and this time to face they say use ultimate compression capacity as what 1125.4 1125 sorry 1125.4 so i'll come again right now and put the value there on the software here um 1125.4 okay that's fine and then they say ultimate tension now come here and then confirm again what the value for ultimate tension here they say she use ultimate tension to be what or use ultimate tension capacity to be what 375.2 375.2 okay 375.5.2 so 375.2 okay that's fine okay now what's the next thing again right now to 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 to, to now do then i said again um pie cap is designed in what pie cap is designed in what direction what direction one okay so right now i have to now come again right now to my position here um put that here and make sure i choose um options here and make sure the direction is what in direction one and not what two okay so direction one okay that's fine okay then the, the next thing again after that right now for my pi soft here data sheet is what they say use internal bending radius as what um as what 140 now let's now go and confirm from our pi soft the bar diameter which we use from the beginning you can see that the bar diameter we use from the beginning right now is what um is um y20 you can see that y20 that's what we chose okay for our um for our main bar diameter okay so right now i'll have to now go and enter into the lead bar for the software put that here and then go to my lead bar here go to my lead bar here and then choose what y20 and what y20 here y22 here okay that that's fine y y y20 here and then come here and then okay it's still failing here under what under the 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 the, the um deep bin theory okay and also it's saying that um session is insu 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 insufficient okay now let's now go and check our how our distance is appearing from the pi soft okay because here is appearing this other direction so let's now and check the 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 how um pi soft generated our 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 pi cap to to be so you can see that from the drawing here, you can see that the pi, the this pi soft right now, the pi soft said that it, it should be on this direction. You can see that on this direction here. So right now, to now get this direct image here, I'll have to now minimize this and then minimize this also. Come to this place here, option here, and make sure I choose um, this to now face as the pi soft is what it um, says it to, to do what like like face. As you can see right now, then. Um, you can see that it is still failing here is same for a deep theory is failing here so right now i'll have to now come here come to my to my to my what depth here now you can see that from our pi soft here pi soft gave us three um how many depths three depths it says we should try one four if it fails we should try one five and if it fails one six okay so let me now try one thousand five hundred now okay so i'll just minimize this right now so come here right now and then impute what impute the value 1500 as you can see that we have three um values that we are that, that we are meant to suggest here okay 
one four one five and one six okay so right now once i input this value right now one five hundred here one five hundred i will now click on anywhere here okay okay then now you, you can now see that now at that one five right now you can see that everything now looks okay here now even if it is showing okay here it is not yet okay because we have not yet imputed these two last um values okay so you must input everything that came from what from the software portal structure okay now okay so right now we will now have to go impute what internal bending radius okay for um you can see that right now bending radius i can see right now input it on this place so right now before I go and put it right now, I'll go and show you right now that even if you are seeing that everything here is showing what successful design and everything here looks okay, don't not celebrate yet because if you check on this place here that says what design checks here, okay, you might see that your this thing here is failing, okay? So when you see that kind of failure, the first thing you do is to come here and make sure you impute all the values that was given to you. So right now, on on the, on on this one right now it might not be failing as right now but you can see that for the first one we will like did it was failing so just to be on the safe side always input all the values that came from the soft from from, from this pi soft here so right now you can see that from the pi soft they say that internal bending radius on x can be given can be, can be taken to, to be what 140 or 190 okay and for y 140 140 okay so right now i will have to come here right now and input the value 140 and for y 140 okay either i put 140 here or 190 but here it says you put 140 millimeter and others okay so once you have done this right now then you now go and do what go and make your check-ins here again and be confirmed so once you have done this checking and you have seen that everything here is marked okay and marked good there is no red and you're seeing all this good here this good here means that it's okay and all this good here means that it's okay and you have seen everything here is okay there is no red anywhere then you can now come now and then now generate your report now first generate your report right now okay to back up the one that you have on the pi soft report okay and then come here and do what and then click on what pdf okay and on pdf right now you can see my name there okay my name and my checker Janessen. and then all that they now come here right now and then uh, it should be on desktop okay and then so always get the folder for your for your design okay and then come here we are on column eight okay that's fine yes that's column eight we are we are on column eight which is yeah, yeah, yeah column eight here and then come right now and then make it up to this is now from Porter structure so i have to boot the report from structure here from Porter, and then do what save here okay that's fine okay then click on what here close here right now close this up and then minimize let me just close all these reports now and then open the two reports now which i got for this column eight okay close this up again then minimize this and then once you have done that right now now come and say what okay here okay so you can now see your pie cap now will now appear here as you can see that so you can see how to design pie cap okay so this now uh, this now appear here then I'll, I'll now let me now go and show you the two reports that we did which is okay here this is the place here okay that's here um open this up right now open this up and then open the two report for the pie um for the column eight that we have done the pie cap for okay for column eight this is the two reports for pota for pies from pies of and Popota, which are going to combine which i'll show you how, how, how to combine all your reports together later and now come here right now and say what and then say um open this one for potential yeah, yeah, right uh, from this one report and you can see how the report is which is very very okay you can see all your goods here and everything and your name will be titled here the person that did design and your checker and everything okay so and then i will now go and open again open also this other one here the um pi um soft here for column eight and all that yes you can also see is is no no is a, is, a, is a coming up open okay that's fine so this is now for the um for the pi soft i can see right now so right now to not to, to now combine your um this of this your two report which i meant to combine and then print it out okay it's now do what right now is to highlight the two you can see that the, the two for the for the column you did 
if it's for this one you have highlight this these two here so right now let me do for this one first highlight this right now right click and then you will see um combine let me see if, if, if i can see it here combine yes combine pdf using nitro so i i am using nitro pdf so i'll just combine right now combine with this and then once i combine with this right now i will now combine with this yes the the pysoft own report comes first before the other report from what portal structure okay so this one comes first so right now just say what yes create report okay create okay so it will now combine the report right now and i'll now do what i'll now come now and say design report okay i'll now come back to this place for this folder right now since it's a combined one i'll now come now and say design um pie cap sorry pie cap pie cap design let me just switch later here design report And say this by saying um, column eight one C eight, yeah. Sorry, one C eight. Can I that to be there? One C eight. Yes. So I can do it and say now one C eight, one C eight by cap design report. So this is now the final design report for this column. Okay. Once um, column eight by cap design report. And now come and do what save. Okay. So by doing save right now, it will combine the two reports together, which is now giving you what the accurate reports, okay, for your pie. So if you now go right now, you cannot see it right now that the two reports now is now being combined together. You can see the the the, the pie cap join that came from the pie soft. You can see it right now, and then followed by the what the one um, from the what portal structure. Okay, so this is how it is being done. Okay, this is how I design my pie foundation using the software portal structure so for younger engineers for younger engineers using this this software alone this software alone for for your design of pi foundation you might have issues because this software tends to perform over design when it comes to pi cap and pi when it comes to pi foundation design so but with the help of pi soft you can see how let me just do the three view right now you can see how we used you can see that okay but with the help of this um pie soft right now this pie soft here you can see how we are able to generate our design data okay which which we now use to now impute our values to the what to um for the pie cap design in the software put that structure okay so you can see that you can see that this software right now pie soft um and gives you your design parameters which you are meant to use and which will give you a seamless and a good design for your pi foundation okay so that's why i recommend you get this um pi soft if you are if you are doing any project that's that's um, working on what that's and that they're that using what for a pi foundation okay so if you are working with any project and you're using a pi um a like a, 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 and you want to design for pi then get this pie soft and this for that and you can also print out this your data sheet right now this your uh, input sheet and all that okay but but the one that is more ne necessary is to, is, to, is, to, is, to, is to do what is to print out the um that that uh, that um sheet which we did here this other one here this is the one that is more that is more important this one here because everything that you have done there is here so this, this is one that is more important because this is the input sheet and all that and all about you can also print out this other one which i've just showed you now yeah this one to cancel repeat that by just going here and then do what click, clicking on what print here okay and print out your input sheet, which is also okay so you can also go and print it out right now and then save as what as um, um input sheet input um sheet for um one c which is column eight yes we are we are column eight one one c column eight um pi cap pi cap okay and then do what and then save it again there okay okay then come right now minimize now minimize this now and then minimize this again and then come to the folder you will see the you 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 will just see there right now then come to the folder here okay the folder here 
and then you will see it now um input sheet yes yeah in input sheet i can see right now so if you open it now you will see your input sheet data which you have inputted and all that which can also print an, an attach if you want to do that can you see that right now this is it okay yeah that's fine you can see that this is now your input sheet okay but the one that is more important is to is to bring out this one here this one that this one that we did here before this ones because this is the one which carries the, the what the actual parameters and, and also what data that you use to design for your PyCap design in Protoss software okay that's fine so right now this is now the input data sheet okay for the PySoft okay now if you want to get this software PySoft just check on the link down below and you will be able to purchase this software okay now this software is quite expensive but we have made the price a bit um lower because we purchased this software very much expensive but we have made it a bit lower for so that our um, subscribers can be able to also um use it for their design because the whole um end of ekidel is to is to do what eradicate structural failure that's why we, you see that we teach in details and all that okay so the whole essence of ekidel is to do what eradicate um, what structural failures and all that okay so you can get this um software and all that using the link down below and that and, and then purchase that and use it for your pie design so we are currently giving out a 50 percent discount for this um software this software is, is basically for what is going for 190 dollars okay but we are given what half of the um money for the first people that for the first for the first one month so beginning from now till the end of march we it it, it, it will be on at it, it will be around like something dollars and and, and 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 all that so if you want to um get that just check on the link down below and download and then purchase for this software and all that so you can also check on google about pysoft and all that but the, but the best way to get it is to check on the link down below and get the discount for that okay so thank you so much and then bye for now so you, you can you can you can now see how we have used this pysoft right now how we have used this pysoft right now to now perform a design for this um it's to be building right now you can see that right now you can see how we have done that right now to perform for the design so with this end, um with this end, um, procedure you can perform for all other um column points here and all that so i'll just pause this video because we are already one hour ahead and it will make this video to, to like get longer if i design for that but but in the next time with that that we are going to meet i will show i will be able to design all these pie caps using the same procedure and design for all the pie cap okay and then we'll now move on to the pie design itself okay because we are we are we have only done for the pie cap but you have seen how this um pie soft right now is ha has not been able um has not been able to like do what to now um give you a correct and the uh, 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 and the accurate um pie number that you are meant to use instead of this software giving you what over design for example again right now if i come now and click on this column right now right click here and then do what insert pie cap again and then you will see that this software will give me what will give me um sorry let me just go back again software it will give me what over design right now it is giving me what how many pies 15 pies again so most engineers right now because they they, they just come here and see what design successful they will go and do what they will go and then and then and just say okay and go and click on what okay here that they have done the design for the for the for for the pie cap which in tons you have you have just wasted the client's money because what you have done is what what over design so with the help of pies of right now you can be able to design accurately the actual pie that is meant to be that 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 that, that, that that is that that column is meant to what carry okay so right now and i come again right now pie cap here and then i'll have to now go and to my colon load here sorry go back again to my to my to my colon load here pick my colon load here and then send to what send to pie, pie soft to can do what my design okay so right now you can see that you have two one two so don't be deceived by you seeing this for the first time you're doing your design for, for pie cap don't be deceived by seeing this you have just wasted the client's money because it what what they've just done is, 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 is to do what perform over design okay so right now you can see that two one two point something so i just copy this right now two one two one two nine point two and then go to pie soft here pie soft and impute the value for my colon load here 
I don't know again, 212, I don't know, 2128 points, I don't know, point two. let me just say it again, let me see if that's correct, um, okay, 2129.2, okay, that's fine, 2129.2, so right now, 2129, so come here, put 9.2, and then you will see that the number of pies right now is meant to be 4, is that, it be, you, you, you are meant to have 4 number of pies, and not what the software here is giving you to be what, um, 16, Oh, sorry 15 okay so come here right now and then choose what choose here to be what um four that's the ultra number of pies to be used now don't be deceived that it that it will, it will show you what fail okay once you impute all the values that you got from this data sheet here for for from let me just again generate here again from this place here once you impute all your all, all your all your all your files all your input here and generate here once you impute all these values that you that you got here you will see that this your failure that is showing here will now be what okay as you have seen that we have done before okay so you can see how i have used this pi software to perform a seamless design for my pi foundation okay for my pi cap okay first for the pi cap then we'll now move on to the pi information later okay so if you want to get this pi soft software Check the link down below and then get that okay. So bye for now and see you again next time, this time, tomorrow or next tomorrow. Bye for now and then goodbye. Now, if you be before you go, if you are new on Ekidel, please consider subscribing to Ekidel. Thank you and bye for now.